Let's go ahead and finish our cog out here. So I'll grab this top polygon, bevel it. I'm gonna bevel it out here, way out actually, like this. Then I'm gonna shift click. I'm gonna bring it up, like so. That looks pretty good. Space bar drop it. I'm gonna go down here now. I'm gonna bevel this in and pull down in Z just to give it that little look there. Okay, now we have this cog. So what I'm going to do is lower it down a little bit. And I'm going to go around, select these loops, hit my bevel key for B, B, the bevel key, and ungroup my polygons. I click the select, and when I pull out, they'll be separated, okay? And I can scale in, and I'll get my little cogs here. Like so. Okay, now we have our little cog, so let's grab it, copy and paste it, and duplicate it. Bring it up. Now, I don't need these, so I'm going to loop it and delete them like that. And I'm not going to fill that polygon in because that's just extra polygons we don't need because we're not going to be seeing it. So let's pull this back down. And now we have our cog here. We could grab both of these and shrink them down a tad let's bring them up a little okay now we have our cog for our wheel here as you can see so now let us hmm, I'm not sure what we can do here I see some extra polygons in here I don't like. So I'm going to get rid of them. And there we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and build the joint that goes on top. We'll build it the same way we built these. We'll drop us a cylinder in. We can make this maybe 300 millimeters and 300 millimeters. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's a little bit big, isn't it? It's 300 meters. We want 300 millimeters. That's more like it, isn't it? So let's drag this out. Like so. And center it up. Like so. Now let's go ahead and loop slice up the middle here so we can have something to make our groove with. And let's take this back in a little. And we'll do the same on this end because I don't want it to be so long. Okay, now I'm going to select this end, this end, be the bevel it, pull out in the Z. The scale in like this. Now we have that little bevel on the end. I'm going to shift click and bevel in and pull back a little bit. Shift click again and pull on back in the Z to make our hole. Let's select these up through here. We'll extrude and activate it. Hit the R key. Scale in. Let's raise this up so we can get underneath it. And let's select these bottom polygons like that. And let's pull these down. Make sure group polygons is on. And that looks pretty good. We can bring them in a little bit. bring this down I think that's going to be a little bit long and it is but we can fix that no problem by going in here and selecting these and just evening them up a little bit by scaling them 
Now we'll bring it down. And we'll want to even it up here in the middle. Okay, that's looking pretty good there. So now we all, all we gotta do is run our loop slices and we'll be done with this one. So I'm gonna run my loop slices real quick. Okay. Now we have our joint. Actually, I want to run some more loop slices right around through here. That holds a lot better. I don't want these subdivided. And there we go. We have our joint and our foot. And we'll continue on our next video.